hello from me may grace and the peace of our lord jesus christ be multiplied to you and yours it's always a privilege and an honor to come your way once again with the word of the lord i am passionate about what the lord has laid on my heart today to share with you and i am taking this exaltation from john chapter 8 verse 1 downwards we all know of a story of a woman who was caught in adultery the scriptures tells me that Jesus had come back from Mount Olives. Mount Olives signifies and tells us that he went there to pray, to seek the face of the Father. When he came down, it continues to say that people gathered all around him and he began to teach them. And that is the ministry of Jesus. He always wanted to teach people, to impact into them the mind of the Father. Through this in the verse 6, in the verse 3 of John chapter 8, the scriptures highlight that a crowd brought a woman to Jesus. And it emphasized in the new century version that they forced her, they forced the woman into the presence of the crowd, in front of the crowd. They forced this woman. I want you to keep that in your spirit. They forced this woman in front of the crowd, in front of Jesus. And they told the master, we caught this woman in adultery. And you and I know an adultery is, is found in, in any kind of any intimate relationship with another person who is not their spouse. And so this is that we caught this woman in adultery. And I want you to have this mental picture in your mind. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. You see, sometimes we read the stories in the Bible and we just read through. A woman was caught in adultery. So just imagine the appearance this woman had standing in front of a crowd. For all you know, he was she was even partially naked with her hair. He could, she couldn't even get time. To package herself well because she was caught in adultery. And now, but will you ask yourself where it was the man? But I'm not going to focus my attention on the man. They brought the woman in, 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 in the presence of the master and they asked him. But before asking his opinion, this is what they said Moses said, Moses said, that any person caught in adultery must be stoned. And so what do you reckon that we do to this woman? And as they were pressing on, the master began to pray, to write on in the sand. He kept writing and they asked him. They kept on pressing. They kept on pressing to know what Jesus was going to say. Because there was a law that was already against this woman. But they still wanted to see what love will say. They wanted to hear what mercy will say. They wanted to hear what is the compassion of God. His love in action. What was he saying to that situation? You see, my brethren, let me take time here and speak to this person. That for you, God had to interrupt my schedule to come here and share this word with you. For whatever thing that you have done wrong... For whatever situation you found yourself in that made you do what you do, you did. This is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. I do not condone sin. I do not say go ahead and sin. But my mercy and my outstretched arm is wide open. That if you only come to me and repent of that sin, I will forgive you and I will cleanse you. And sin cannot always whisper in your ear. The mercy of God is calling unto you. The love of God is saying, that is why I let my son die on the cross of Calvary for you. That no sin can keep on moving you out of the path that I have destined for you. That any time that you are moving on one step, sin keeps on saying to you, you can't do that because of what you did. He said, my blood has wiped away every sin, every, every, every transgression, anything that you did in the past. I have forgiven you and I'm commanding you to move on. If you only come to me and you will seek 
me to forgive you. I have forgiven you. I will forgive you and I will wipe it all away. And you have to learn to forgive yourself. You see, when the master was writing, he lifted up his head and he said, if anyone among you has never sinned, I want you to cast the, small, the, the, the stone. What Jesus was saying that I am not denying the fact that you caught that woman in adultery. He is saying to you, I am not denying the fact that you sin. I am not denying the fact that something went wrong somewhere. I am not denying the fact that you lied some, some way about that thing that is haunting you. I am not denying the fact that what you did put somebody's life in danger. But I am saying that if you will come to me and you ask for forgiveness, I will forgive you and I will not condemn you. Don't give sin that authority over your life by not repenting and letting keep on whispering to your ears that you are not enough. This is what the word of the Lord is saying to you. He says you are more than enough. That is why I sent my son to die for you. You are worth his blood. You see what sin seems to do. Sin is when you have moved out of the path that God has laid for you. So you see, when these things come, it is a, sorry, the enemy's way of taking you out of the, the path that God has laid for you. It is the enemy way of distracting, distracting you of the path that God has for you, the destiny that God has in front of you. So what you do is when you come to him and you, for, you ask for forgiveness and you repent, he brings you back, he forgives you, cleans you, and he brings you back in the right track and he says, follow it and continue when you refuse to repent, when you refuse, you refuse to come to him and ask for forgiveness, that is when the enemy thinks that he has an upper hand. But tonight, I beseech you with the message of, the, of God. Like Jesus said to the woman, he said, when he lifted his, 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 his head, all the people who were accusing him were no more there. And he asked the woman, where are your accusers? He said, they've all left. And he said, if they could not accuse you, then I do not accuse you. Go, your sins are forgiven. And this is the same word the master is telling you today. The blood of Jesus is still speaking better things over your life. The blood of Jesus gives no access to the enemy to accuse you of any wrong. And if you repent and you change from your ways, the Lord says, I will forgive you. I will restore you. Whatever thing that the locusts, the cankerworms, all of them that they have eaten, I will restore you because you see, I do not change my mind about you. When I made you and I purpose you for greatness, that is what I am committed to. Repent. That is all my message for you this afternoon. Wherever and however you're going, when you hear this message, the Lord says, my arms are wide open. Love is calling you. Mercy is calling you. His compassion is drawing you to him. And so he says, come back to me. And so this is the prayer. I want you to pray with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for sending me your word today. I ask that you forgive me of every sin, every transgression. Everything that I can't forgive myself, I pray that you forgive me. Cleanse me by the blood of Jesus. I come back to you as my Lord and my Savior. Have your own way with my life. Let your will be done for me as it is in heaven. And if you pray that prayer, I want you to know that God has forgiven you. Learn to forgive yourself and move on. Don't give the enemy chance again to play with your life because your life was worth the blood of Jesus. Have a blessed day. Share this broadcast with somebody. Somebody needs to know and until that person is reached, that person who is beating him, him or herself down of the wrong that they've done, 
whether it's a man or it's a woman, at the sound of my voice, know that the master is thinking about you. And he's thinking and knows that you are blaming yourself. But he says, enough is enough. Just repent. I'll forgive you and you move on. Because greater is he that is inside of you than he that is in the world. Shalom and God bless you. This is Lady Rhoda. Keep sharing. Keep liking my, my pages, my broadcast. And you, you can share this to all your friends to encourage them. And know that God loves you so much. That is why Jesus died that kind of death for you. You are the blessed of the Lord. Shalom and have a blessed day. Bye.